Hi, my name is Keith Elder, and I want to show you how to revive an SOK battery. This is a this is a lithium iron phosphate battery that uh, is a hundred amp hour battery. Uh, this one has the Bluetooth module in it. Uh, there are ten screws: one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten screws total. So uh, when I got the battery, I took my voltmeter here, and it was only reading like one point something volts. Um, and so I plugged it up to a charger and it wouldn't hold a charge. Uh, like it wouldn't even charge it. Uh, so going online, uh, some gentlemen suggested to bypass, bypass the terminals and charge it. And so that's what I did and it worked. So I want to show you those that are running into the same problem. According to, uh, others on the Facebook group is that the Bluetooth module in this particular unit, which is great to use. But what it does is, is it is it drains the battery down, and so whenever you get it, receive it, it's, it it may be dead. So this is how you uh, get it back to working, so that you can charge it. It's a very simple process. So first thing is take out all of these screws right here around the side, and then it will it'll pop up. Then you can raise the lid up, and then underneath what you'll see is there's two screws right here. Okay, so I'm going to zoom in on those. You see those? So those two screws right there and the plate behind it is actually uh, directly to the battery pack. So what you can do is, I'm going to have to like take the phone and move it around just a little bit. So give me a second. I want to try to show you with the voltmeter how this works and what it does. So give me one second. All right, I have the voltmeter here. <clears throat> and so if I take... Uh, if I take uh, the voltmeters and I plug it up to here, what you'll see on the terminals now is this 13.45 volts, which is great, right? So if I leave the red wire there, okay, I'm just gonna leave it there. And then I touch the plate right here, okay? You'll see it's 13.45 volts. You'll see where I touched it at, just right here on this, right here on this plate. This is how you bypass. So if your battery's dead when you receive it, just take a regular battery charger, plug up, be careful not to touch anything here. Don't let the charger touch this other plate. So it can touch the screw, you can touch just the plate here with it. So you wanna be able just, I'll use the pointer, this, this metal here, don't touch this. So put it on there and let it charge. When it gets to about 11 volts, which didn't take long, I used a 30 amp boost. It didn't take long for it to get to 11 volts. And uh, when, I, when I did that, there was a red light that was on in the back. Once it got enough power to power the BMS, it came on, the red light went out. I stopped the charger and then plugged it back up to the terminals up, up top and it completed charging. So that's how you do it. And I hope this video helps somebody out there. I really appreciate the uh, folks on the uh, Facebook group that helped me out. So hope this helps somebody out out there and happy battery. Thanks.